So this is what I'm doing. I put a piece of uh, cement board in the back here. For the sub panel, it's a 100 amp sub, pa sub panel. And uh, this is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna have to make a hole up there with a hole saw. And I'm putting PVC tubing, PVC pipe. And also I wanna show you what you also need to do this job is PVC cleaner and PVC cement. You clean it with the cleaner, you put it on here. So I got everything all over the place here. You clean it with the cleaner all around, then you put the cement, then you uh, interlock these. I'll show you, I'll give you an example. I'll show you an example of how that works. Let me go in the backyard so I could show you what we did back there. Boat is. So I'm getting this PVC tubing all the way out to behind the garage. And you can see I laid it out already. Now over here, I'm gonna go inside the house and I'm gonna, with the hole saw, cut through the house, the wood, so I can come out and connect this pipe here. So I'll show you now, what we gotta do is clean this pipe. So use the cleaner first. You do the outside, because it slips onto the other pipe right there. Make sure there's no dirt in the old pipe too, that you're putting it into. Now you put the cement. We're doing this at night because we're night owls. We're nothing else better to do at night. Exactly. We need to work. <laughs> And you put the cement all around. Doesn't matter, you're messy, you're messy. Clean off the rag. Slide that puppy in like Hold that. Hold it for 10 seconds. That cement, that cement is like lube, baby. And that's it. Now I'm gonna go inside and cut a hole through the house. I'll show you what it looks like inside. All right, so this is what we did here. I went outside, and you see this big gauge wire here? I went outside and took a look where that comes out, the side of the house, where the wood is. This is the basement now. So what I did up there, you see that hole right there? I drilled a hole to see where it's gonna come out from outside. So I'm just gonna go outside, I took a look where that is, and I'm gonna use my hole saw and drill right through it. This is what the hole saw looks like. I'll show you in a second. So this is the this is the outside of the house, and that's why I showed you where the big thick gauge wire goes in. And I drilled the hole right here. That's where it came out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use a saw saw. You get the size for this pipe, and I'm gonna go ahead now and just drill this through. Good! You threw! That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. Nice hole, right through the through. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna put one of these in through here, and you can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. Just gonna slide that through here, through the hole I just made. So. We're gonna put another pipe, straight pipe here, cut it with a hacksaw blade, then put another 90 up, and this is what I connected to it, what we connected to it on the outside. So now we're gonna put fire retardant sealer, foam sealer on the inside. I'll show you that now. All right, so we're just gonna put, put this in. It's great stuff, fire block, foam spray, where the hole is from the inside of the house and the outside. Because we're working with electrical wire, you need electrical shit. This will help for no fires. Come up to the hole. It's all about filling the hole, baby. Sticking in. There you go. Now do the outside.
pretty much done here. All right, now I'm inside the garage. What I'm gonna do here is, I put on top where the pipe's gonna go inside, PVC pipe on top with the wire. I put a level and the edge of the level is right about in the middle of the box. And that's straight. So what I'm gonna do is now over here, I'm gonna get a straight edge, right angle. And I'm just gonna put it right by the edge of the the level just to get an idea of where the center hole should be for this um, hole so I'm gonna do over here. So I'm just gonna put a little white out at the edges over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so right there I marked it. I used white out, you can use a marker, doesn't matter. Now I know approximately where my center hole should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that now from the inside out. Okay, now before I drill that hole up there, I figure I'd just go ahead and show you what I'm going to put up here. This is on top of the box now. I bought this from Home Depot. Uh, you can buy it from your electrical parts store, or Lowe's or whatever you go for electrical stuff. So this is a sealed waterproof end. And I'm going to put this up here like that. That's going to go through here. Then this lock nut, it's going to go underneath and I'm going to screw it tight. Screw that, this tight to the box. So now before I do that, I just gotta punch this out. I'm gonna punch this one out first, and I think that should do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that bad boy out. Okay, so pop that up. Then you can just snap it out. And that's it. All right, so I just actually popped another tab, the next uh, size over, so this thing could fit. And now this goes on top like that. This will go underneath, and you can go ahead and turn that to seal it up over there. Then this is gonna go in here. And you could get all this at the electrical parts store. These threads are the same as these, so you could thread them together. So, anyway, you get the idea here. That goes over there. And now, this one will go in here. Like this. It's gonna go in like that. And that's gonna go inside the wall over there. And of course, you know, you put PVC cleaner here and some cement. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drill that. Alright, now this is what I wanna put here. So it's gonna go like that. This is gonna go in there, like I said before. Now the problem here is there's two things. This can't go into this box out because this is going on the outside, remember? It's the same size here. So I have to cut this over here. Now that's a good thing because as you can see here, once I line this up, it's actually off a little bit. So when I cut that up there, it's gonna bring it more to the wall, more where I want it. So right now I'm gonna leave it the way it is and I'm gonna estimate around here somewhere. You just want it as deep as you could put it in here. There's a lip inside here. Let me show you. Before this clown falls on his face. All right, right there. So you, you want the pipe to sit in there, so. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna line it up. Line that bitch up right there. And make sure that's in the middle up there, which it is. And I'm just gonna mark around that on top over there. So the, the whole saw's gonna go through that. And this is about about right over there. I mean, you can always cut it there, so that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it on top over there and start doing the cut. All right, so I marked around there. It's in the middle. And I marked around the pipe. And as you can see here, it should go in nice and deep in the hole. 
just like the way you want it, baby. And like I said, you could always cut it over here because this is straight down from here down. So if you make it a little bigger or longer down, it's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that this piece off right there, just to see, just to mock it up and see how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, now I mounted my pipe here on the pipe portion of the vise, and I'm gonna go ahead with this little mini hacksaw and start cutting away here. And that's all she wrote. So as you can see now, I put the cut piece over there and you see how much closer it is over here. So this will take some finagling. Of course, this is gonna go in deeper once the fitting, the LB fitting on the outside is put through the wall. And you can always cut this down to size a little more to move this back in. So I might do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finally cut that. Quick clown kick, quick tip. Now over here, if you use this already and you had it sitting around, you'll know that this is a pain in the ass and all this stuff gets stuck in here and in here. So just take the, pop the straw off here, you could cut it and you could use an awl or a piece of wire to push whatever's in here out. And same thing with this. And you could just clear this out the same way and it'll be good as new. A little clown, clown quick tip there for you guys. Good as new, baby. Booyah! Time to make the hole. Love holes, you guys know that. Now I'm gonna go ahead. You should put this right in the middle, center and around. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling this bad boy. Also, make sure your drill is straight. This has a little level on top so I could tell if I'm drilling straight or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I'm through. This is gonna go on the outside of the garage. Now like I said before, the whole saw has to be a little bit bigger than this because you want this fitting to actually hug the wall over here. So when you put it in, it should look like this. As you can see that, just like that, that's perfect. So when you put the PVC pipe here, you could put the straps holding it in place every five inches or so, whatever the, ho the code is in your town. Okay, so the first thing I did was, I put this box and I put a temporary strap here to hold it down. Um, if, you ha if there's two people, if you have another person with you, he should be outside the garage holding it down. So now I'm gonna go inside and put the pipe in. So you got your PVC cleaner. I'm gonna clean everything here. Whew, smells good. Oh yeah. Next thing here, I'll keep this loose to actually maneuver it around. So now, go ahead with the PVC cement. Top in first. There you go. Done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lock nut underneath. And you can hit that with a flathead screwdriver to drive it all the way in. Put more of this fire block stuff on and be careful you don't get any on your hands because that stuff is nasty. Alright, so this is done. Now don't forget to put some of this on the outside too. And you're done here. 
All right, so we pieced together some of this pipe. And over here, I dug a trench, it's 18 inches deep. It's actually 23 inches, but code in my town is 18 inches at least deep in conduit. So make sure you follow the code in your town, how far deep this pipe should go. What I'm also gonna do now is I'm gonna bury the pipe now, about six inches. Then we'll put some of this danger tape on it and continue to bury it all the way up. This is so uh, if anybody digs here later on, they know that there's something going on down there. So I'm gonna do that all around over there now. All right, so we're using this now. We got the pipe bowl laid out, and this is from Klein Tools. You go to Home Depot has this, or a, or um, Lowe's, whatever. And this is a 240 steel fish tape, and you just pull it from here and snake it through the pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, now we have a bend over there. A left side bend at 90 degree. So we're putting the snake at this one end. And you want it to be on an angle that it's going this way because the snake cannot bend. Yeah, the snake pretty much has to be cannot sideways. Cannot bend on, on its edge. So, so you don't want to be on its edge, you want to be on its edge on the side. Sideways. So it goes around the bend. Yep. We're so now we're gonna do that and I'll show you that it goes in like that. Feed it in. So you go all the way hold down. This like that. Go down. Now you go, now you can go. We went through the other way because it was a little easier, but we did the same procedure on this side. Now that the snake is out, this end, we're just gonna tie it onto the, onto a rope and just pull it through the other end. All right, now we tied it and that's what it looks like. You have to tie it like that, it's a triple knot so it's never gonna break loose on you. You basically swoop it around once, you leave some hanging, you swoop it again, and you do the knot again, and that thing will never go anywhere. When you pull on it, it will not go. Yep. And you take your tape, and you tape it. It's every knot. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be the best tape job. So that I could pass. You know, I'm not taping the whole fucking thing. I'm just taping all the way up to the top. Boom, 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 and always when you come around the tape. You go like that so you don't know where the end is. And I got a piece right there you pull. And that's it. Now we send that bitch through. And you go to the other side and pull it through. Alright, so this is what we rigged up over here. These three wires. This is the cable that we got, service cable. It's a 222-4. <laughs> Two is the gauge. Uh, four is the bare ground copper. And this this sheathing is waterproof, so you can put it in conduit pipe. Um, this is what we rigged up over here. I put a jack handle with two jack stands, and this is how it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and feed that into the house. Like I said, it's, it's two 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 dash four. The two is the two gauge. The three twos mean. It's uh, two hot and a neutral, and the four, like I said, is the ground. Now we're gonna tie it off. Tie it off to the right. cable. So how you tie it off is, like I said, you do three loops. This is your first loop. Bring it down. This is your second loop. Right. And then you got one more loop. Three loops is, is success. You tie it off as tight as possible. Now it's not going nowhere. Why don't you put tape to it? Now put electrical tape around it. The whole thing. This one you want to be really fucking secure. 
Yeah, this goes, everything goes. You lose your whole wire. And you have to re-snake it like we exactly. did before. Exactly. You don't want to fucking re-snake shit. This is when you tie the fucking shit out of it with the tape. We got one shot. And the cable we got from Southwire. Co. And you want to do it a little bit on the rope too. Beautiful. Now it's time to pull through. Right, so now we're gonna put some oh, pulling soap. You get this from Home Depot or Lowe's. And this soap is very good for pulling wire like this thick through. But you're not gonna get wire like that. Thick Klein thick. Tools makes this. Klein it's a premium Tool synthetic. It. You just want soap and you lube that everywhere. puppy up. See this tip over here? They want to cut the tip off because I'm not dealing with bullshit squeezing this shit for fucking three years. You, you, gotta, tip. you gotta circumcise it. So you gotta, you gotta cut a dick off. And we can do it on an angle. Angle is nice. Do the nice fucking uh, aeration. And you know my motto the more butter sauce, the better. And you just lube the shit out of it. And you take it over here, lube, 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 lube. And now you whack it with your hands the whole way. You're gonna have to do that because I'm pulling on the other side. Alright, so now we're just gonna feed it through, and somebody's gonna be on the other side pulling it. He's gonna be on the side pulling it. Feeding through there, and I'm gonna be pushing it with this uh, contraption that we have here. Exactly. So we're gonna go ahead He's and do that. He's gonna basically feed the, feed the wire off to me while, while I'm pulling it through. But now you're gonna get your hands and you rub it like you're jerking it off. Yep. Give it a nice jerk, come on. <laughs> Give it a nice jerk on camera. <laughs> Give it a nice, nice rub. That's how you have to rub it down. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ooh, it's touching my tip. <laughs> Feels nice and loopy. When right. he does that, beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and put that through. We're gonna put that through. Now we pulled it through, and we're just cutting the end over here so we can run this 90 in all the way up to the box. Now we're gluing this pipe to this pipe, and this is where our wire is going up, right up into our uh, garage. Then we're doing the sub panel, 100 uh, amp. You gotta put glue on the outside first. You use the acetone to clean it off. I use the acetone first, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna put the glue on the inside, heavy duty, that glue. Just gook it up as much glue as possible. The more glue, the better it is. Inside, perfect. Now slide that bitch on there. Quick as possible before the other glue dries up. You always want to make sure you go quick. Now hold it in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it for five. Then just keep holding it. Now you gotta hold it until it actually takes and the glue settles. So when we actually pull the rope through now, it doesn't fucking pop off the fucking right angle. And now, now we're gonna bury this up to dirt. And I'm gonna take the rock out and bury it. You put a rock underneath to hold this up. Yeah. Make sure when you're cutting this, you don't cut the wire too. Exactly. Be very careful. See how we did? I did it the other way. I cut it with the wire in it, but still. You know, the 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 end the head of it, it doesn't matter because you're gonna have to cut a little bit off anyways to wire it up. But if you don't have much wire, you really shouldn't be cutting any pipe with wire inside of it. And they start a fire or fucking anything like that. Also over here, I just took a level 
and I put a straight mark all the way up to the box. So we know where it's at. So we know exactly where to cut it. So we're just gonna wait until this dries, then we're gonna pull the wire through. Yep. Okay, so we put it through there. We put a coupling over there. And now we just put the glue here. We ran, we opened up the fitting over there. And you want a lot of fucking glue. It doesn't have to be a neat fucking job. As long as it gets it done, you know, neat wire run. Alright, now we're strapping this down. Per code. And we fed the string through there. We're going to pull the cable out. Alright, so over here, this is pretty much done. I put some treated wood over here and nail and screwed it into the foundation of the house. I drilled it with some uh, with a special drill bit that drills, in, drills into concrete and I put an anchor and I screwed this in. And I also put these clamps in here. Uh, one thing I want to mention is, say you can't get this cap closed, you can put a piece of 2x4 put it sideways and start whacking it with a hammer so you're going a little bit until you can get it flush here or you can also put a little bit of silicone here um, if it doesn't close fully and you can't get it the cable to go more in so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with, with the soil and I'm pretty much done here all right now uh, we pulled it through we're gonna cut it now at the end and cases when you cut it over here you can just rip it and it'll pull right off this one is actually waterproof that's why you know you make a tiny tiny incision you don't want to go through the casing through the other casing so I don't even put pressure on it and I just make a line and it actually cuts it like that look see I'm pulling it right off and I'm not even pushing any pressure on it at all so if you get any wire like this this type of wire with this casing just do a nice little tiny line like that and it comes right off. You don't want to go too deep. And you don't go too deep and then you fuck up the case and you got to get all the way to the top over here. You want to get it out to here. Alright, so we can do that now. Alright, so we got this thing from Home Depot. Home Depot, and this is a, uh, a, Romex, connector. a Romex connector. We're going to use it for this wire. You know, and you put it, you gotta knock it out, there's knockouts over here, and yep. you gotta line it up to that knockout. Yep. You know, and you don't wanna go more, and then you have to do a job like this and glue shit. But we're doing it the right way. You know, really the right way is you pipe it out, but we have no room to fucking make pipes and bends and all that shit. It's just coming right from the outside. So to make the hole, that's it, and you put it on the outside like that, boom, put and it the in. The ring is on the inside, yep. In. You want to face the screws towards you so you can screw it up. So when you put it in, you put your knockout, and this face is the way that it's curved in. If it's curved in like that, that's how you put it. And you want to make sure this fucking fish is tight. So when you put it in like that, you can knock it on the inside with a screwdriver. Exactly. Awesome. Now go ahead and tighten that down. And there goes the ground. Just tighten that down. We put the lug in first. A little easier. And the ground's in. There you go, ground. Now we put the neutral lug. 
as you can see it right put it right there. here you had to take off two screws and we needed a washer so we took these breakers off to get some space to get in there you definitely need space for this And in our case, the neutral has a white line going on it. Then you want to do Stripe. the ground first, then you do the neutral wire, then you do the two positives. You always want to have a ground just in case it goes to ground. You get shocked. Then you want to do a loop because you want extra wire just in case. So you come over here, you can either... Oops. Scratch the window. Come over here, you bring it down, now you want to go up. So I could just go like that, straight in, like that. But we need extra. It'll look nicer, but if you want extra fucking... Later on, we need to put it somewhere else. Length, if you need to yeah. put it somewhere else on the bar. Yeah. You know, so you we can put it somewhere down. else. We're gonna loop it. So you do a little loop, you don't have to do it that big. You can go from right here, and up. Like that, and you don't want to bend the loop that it's... And it's completely, you know, fucking bent. Put it goes right there, and uh, give me the cutters. We found a little nick there, so we're just gonna wrap it with Really, tape. you don't use electrical tape. You really you just want to fucking redo the whole thing. But you know, we don't have another fucking fifteen hundred dollars to get a fucking wire. So you know, if you're in the union, they don't do that. You make it do whole wire again. But how I'm doing it, is I'm running tape around it and this tape is rated for 600 volts which this is not close to 600 volts you can just tape it up so if you do nick it so you do nick it you always check your lines if you nick it or not and that's it and you just tape it up yep all right now you this cut the this is the part that you cut you just want to cut the end and then you peel it back very simple Come over here, don't cut yourself, don't go up, don't go down. Usually you go over here, push it in and down. Push it in and down. You're not caring about this part. And I left some room too. Yeah, you get the picture. You just can go in there and strip it out. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Go back. Go around like this now. Right. Over here. Set this bitch in. Put that right there. Now this is gonna go in that lock. So I got to cut basically right here on the, push this in, basically where I'm cutting, right here. So give me the, the cutters, the choppers, right behind you, should be, no? Oh, no. Oh, it's good. Cut the right length, you don't want to cut it too short. You know, you can test it out, you go little by little. You gotta clean that up. Always clean your mess. Save your copper, make money. Now you take this, you gotta get your pliers. Let me give this a little kick. Since I don't have the bending tool, bend it with the pliers. But you don't want to get through the pliers, so you use the flat part right there. Now I got that bent. Now that bent. You see how it's not that I'm not squeezing this bottom? If I squeeze this bottom, I'm going to break it in the inside. You don't want to do that. Right back up here. Perfect. One nice and snug. Loosen this bitch right here. Make sure this is tight. It's tight on it. Put this bitch inside. And you want to loosen the screw a little bit more. There you go. And you put 
put it out. So, it's all about maneuvering it in the hole. It's all about neatly. That's it, we're just gonna tighten it down now. Make sure the lug is tight also on the bus bar. Exactly. Control bus bar. And make sure this wire don't hang out. See how it's hanging out like that? Yeah, you gotta put it in there. You gotta push it in there. So we're gonna go neat neaten this up now. Alright, now that we did the neutral, now we're gonna do the two powers. The two powers are gonna run them down and around and behind the wires and the breakers over here. And we put the breaker. Right here, it's a hundred amp dual pole breaker, and, that's and, how that, you want and that breaker has to be the exact same breaker you have in the sub panel, or you're gonna fuck it up like that. See it's what perfect. he said. So we're gonna go ahead and connect those two powers inside that breaker. Go ahead and do that now. All right. So the one power wire we just snaked it around over here, formed it around, and it goes in here in the breaker, just like that. And you. You uh, tighten it down over there. And we'll you just... don't want too much sticking out, that's why I taped it a little bit. Yep, do the same thing with the other power wire. Other power wire, the two power wires go to the breaker, the neutral goes to the neutral bar, the ground goes to the ground bar. And that's all it is, make it. sure it's fucking tight. One thing I want to also mention when you do this, make sure the wires are away from the holes over here where you screw in the, the face of the panel. Make sure they're deep inside all the wires. Otherwise you will pop the panel. Yeah. And it will fucking make a fire inside your panel and... It'll go kablooey. Yeah. So... So if it's ever touching on the outside, do not let that happen. Yep. Always zip tie it in. And Away bring from it. all the wires yep. in. Every wire that you use, yep. bring it in. Alright, so this is how it looks. Installed. And this bottom wire over here has a red stripe on it. Mm -hmm. And the top one is plain black. So we're gonna do the same thing when going to the panel. All right, for our ground now. Now, just to summarize, we put our two hots onto our main breaker here. And we took the main breaker off. It just had a screw in the middle in this panel. And this is our neutral bar here. We put the neutral wire on there. Now the neutral uh, should not be bonded to the ground. That's only for main panels. This should be totally isolated to neutral. Now you see here there's a strap that connects to this bar. Since this is an actual regular main panel and it's not for a sub panel, this when you buy a sub panel you don't buy a box like this. Right. This is not a sub panel box. Right. This is a main 100 amp box, right? So now if you want to make it a sub panel, you got to take off the main bus bar. Right, where these two screws right up here. After you take off the breaker and this breaker, right, show them the screw. This yep, breaker, this screw right goes through the middle and locks this breaker inside of here. So you know that it's the main breaker that's on top, right? Take that off. This, you don't want it to be isolated. So we got to switch this ground bar and make it a bonded ground bar, which takes off this plastic. Right. We got to take the plastic off, get a new ground bar and ground it and actually screw it to the actual box itself. So it's grounded. And that's basically it. And I got that down. So now that's all. Flim. When you come over here, take this bitch off. At all. Yeah, you, the only place you thing? want the neutral and the ground bo bonded together is in the main panel. Exactly. Take off this bus bar. So we don't need this bus bar no more because it's plastic. Right here. So now we're gonna go take this off here. Take the bar off and that's completely... So the strap is off. Off. Now we don't use this strap because yeah. this is for our main panel. And now we're going to get another bus bar for the ground. That will exactly. bond, bond to You're the gonna box. You're going to watch. Alright, so we got the bus bar. We mounted it flush here so it's bonded with the case. So we put a lug at the end. And now we're twisting the ground strap, the ground uh, cable, sorry. No, you don't twist it too much. You just twist it enough because you don't want it, you know. Because if you're bending it... Sometimes it does loosens it and it just does single strands. You see yep. him, the strands messing with it. Yep. So you just give it a nice, you know, few twists. Not too crazy. And that's you it. And you make it, it you form it to what you want to form. And you pop it in there. See, now I got to cut a little bit and that's it. Now it goes right into the slot. And now it's formed. Put it in. Tie it down. 
Yeah, we're good with that. Now you're good with the ground, the power, and the neutral. Now what we're gonna do with the ground bar put in the back. I just got this fitting here. And I got this set threads into it. We're gonna put a 90 degree bend through here into the wall in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, now I'm gonna put this grounding rod behind my garage. It's an eight foot grounding rod. On one end over here, it's pointy. And on the other end, it's not so pointy. So, I know you guys admire my rod as much as I do. Anyway, this little trick on how to get it in there, because, oops, a lot of you guys need some help with that. Either you could bang it down with a little mini sledge from the top, or you could fill up a little water in a container, and as you're pushing it down, put some water in there, it'll act like a little drill. So, let me go ahead and push this in now. A little, a little bit of water and you get this grounding rod at Home Depot or Lowe's now I'm just pouring some water in the hole and just work it baby And you can see that went pretty deep. Pretty sludge time, baby. All right, now we got this copper wire. Make, make sure uh, you put it to code what size it is for your, uh, your installation. And now we're just going to feed it through that pipe out to the bottom and the back to the grounding rod. So it's going to go ahead and start feeding it through and I'm going to go on the other side and pull it out. Alright, All right. now we pulled the wire through the copper wire and you get this to connect to your grounding rod. You just put it in through and you attach the copper cable through here and this goes through there, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I sprayed a little bit of uh, the great stuff, the fireproof stuff around the, the pipe over here going to the grounding bar. Now I'm also gonna put some of this. This is a duck seal. It's a couple of dollars at Home Depot and I'm just going to put it in here so no quitters or anything go inside into my box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, now this is the other end of it. It's going to go in the ground bus bar. It's bonded to the case. That's how you want to do it. Go over here, tighten this bitch up. And we're done. This bitch is tight and we're done. Now we're done with this box. Now, now I can go test everything. Now you want to test your stuff. Now we're going to go downstairs. We're going to turn it on and come back over here and turn this on. And if this turns on without popping, then you're good. Then you know you're good. So we turn the sub panel on in the garage. We actually finished up. We tied this off and all that stuff. Now it's time to test it out and see if it works. But when you test it, Use a long ass pipe like this to test it because plastic if you, pipe. If you stay right fucking here and you turn this bit on and if it blows, you're fucking dead. I don't give a fuck who you are. Yeah. You also, gotta, also we turned off the turned breaker off for the <laughs> exactly for the garage. So. so now we're gonna go turn it on. You stand all the way back. Stand all the way <laughs> this, back. This is a twin. This is a twin panel. That's so. why you put this in there. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> If I die. <laughs> All right, no booms anywhere. No, one more. Oh, we got, we got the subtitle now. We good. All right, we're good. Now, now 
If you do hear a boom or a... A boom, this would actually break off. And now this is live now. That's perfect. Now you yeah. go outside and that break is yeah. still going to be on. Now we'll go outside. Chances are you nicked something. You have to find a nick if yes. that does go boom. You find so. a nick because if this nick... Let's turn this off again. If this is nicked right here and it touches any of these wires, you're fucked. If you did touch any of these wires, that's why you got to line it up straight. You make a good yep. positive connection. Yep. You do it all neatly so none of the wires, pre-existing wires from any other outlet touches any of these wires. And you just go over here, turn that on. This is on. Now go outside and check outside. Yep. All right now we turn the box on downstairs and we also turn this on. Now we have a ground bonded to the box, so the box should be a ground. So I go over here, I go to one side the of the leg, the one side of the leg, hit the box. Oops, sorry. You gotta put the multimeter to AC. There you go, look at that. 120. Volts. 110, 119, uh, yep. that's perfect. You know the same what thing on the other pole? You do the same thing, and I put it on the top feet of the pole. And that's 120. 120. And now you could touch both. And now you touch both of them, and you got. Oops, sorry. Should be two. Two thirty, two forty. This is how it's working. That's how you do it. Right on. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah. And uh, like us, share us, and whatever the hell you want to do to and us. And if you want to know more about electrical, let us know, and we will show you. Toodles.